I had conversations with my grandmother about it. You know, she uh, talked to me about her being 13, maybe when, you know, stuff like that was really going on down close to home and uh, some of the experiences that she has, she's had. And I mean, she said it wasn't pretty, but, you know, she's just proud to say that, you know, things are, you know, wasn't the same. It's not the same no more, so. I'm very, very grateful beyond measures that they had to do what they did because I was joking with my teammates about it. I was like, a lot of that stuff, I don't know if I could have did that. Like, especially with my mindset today, I don't know if I could have, like, sat there and get washed by fire hose, beat on police, bitten by dogs, all that kind of stuff. It was just amazing, like, that they really sat there and had the discipline to do that, like, for a long period of time. It wasn't just a day, it wasn't just a year. It's for, like, for most people, a lifetime. I mean, you, you learn about these things in school, but you don't get to see it firsthand like we did. And that's experience where I think stick with a lot of people, you know, just talking to each other after on the bus, like just sharing, you know, everybody's different views of everything that, you know, we saw. They kind of, you know, open you up to a different side of, you know, who's thinking about what and, you know, how this person felt. And then once we all, you know, throw it in and talk about it together, it just gets you, you know, thinking. And I think a lot of people really appreciate, you know, seeing those things. I think it was kind of a unique opportunity just to be able to go there um, and experience, and especially with what we have going on right now in our country, whether it's race or sexuality or anything, it's good to just kind of learn um, from other people's point of view and to see what they went through and kind of just get an understanding. I was like, I could tell that it had a couple of my teammates shook because they didn't really know, like, how bad it really was. So I think that they will either talk to some of their friends or like you said, talk to their children, pass it down, you know what I mean? To, to keep um, the steps that we were taking forward, you know, going down the bloodline and going down the generations. You got to understand from not only your point of view, but from someone else's point of view. And I think that's something that a lot of people don't kind of grasp now in today's world. And that's kind of where a lot of our problems come from is everybody wants to see it from one point of view and by us getting to go to the museum it kind of opened our eyes, open everybody else's eyes and kind of let us um, be able to put ourselves in their shoes. It was a like overall great experience as a team that we got to you know see that together because we're a pretty you know diverse team and understanding from you know both sides of it it just make you appreciate more that you know we could both we could all come together and be a team. I know Coach Haynes is a big uh, culture guy and I know he wanted to just get us you know around to see that and you know it's a team experience you know nothing like that not like a team you know so just to be able to see that whole you know aspect of it just bring you closer. <laughs>